Hi guys and welcome to Tekken 7 for beginners. In this first tutorial we're going to be covering basic movement. So unlike a lot of other fighting games, Tekken does not primarily rely on jumping around. It more relies on darting quickly around on ground level. So the first thing you're going to want to get the hang of is double tapping away and towards your opponent, particularly away. If you are a fair distance away from your opponent then double tapping towards them will make you run at them and while you're running there's a couple of different things you can do. Uh, a left kick will do a sort of jumping side kick and a right kick will do a low slide. Some different characters may have different attacks, it's up to you to find out what your chosen character does. If you just don't press anything then your character will tackle them to the ground and then you want to be smashing those punch buttons. If you're a long, long, long way away from your opponent and you start to run at them, then not pressing any other buttons will make your character do a big heavy shoulder tackle, which does quite a bit of damage if you can pull it off. Secondly, sidestepping. A single quick tap up or down will sidestep you. This is particularly good for evading big punches or kicks that might be coming your way. And if you sidestep successfully, you will leave your opponent open to all sorts of nastiness that you care to inflict upon them. Now a double tap and hold up or down will start you in a circling motion. This is pretty good if you see a wall coming up behind you and you don't want to get trapped against the wall. You want to manoeuvre yourself into some space. Now manoeuvres from getting knocked down. Let's say you get knocked down. Uh, a quick tap on any of the buttons as you hit the ground and you will do a quick roll and get up off the ground. Kicks will roll you one way, punches will roll you the other way. Get used to which does which. This is also very handy if you get caught in a move, let's say for example King's Giant Swing where the damage is reliant on you hitting the ground. If you can tech roll out of that hit then you will reduce the damage of it significantly. This will work for other throws as well that rely on the impact to do the damage. When you get knocked down, pushing towards your opponent as you hit the ground will spring you up immediately like this. If they're close to you, this will give them a little tap and interrupt whatever they're doing. Now if you are lying on the ground and you want to get up in a certain way, then pulling away from your opponent will just stand you up and moving you slightly backwards. Pushing upwards will just stand you straight up. Tapping left punch will make you do a little roll to the side and then you get up. Tapping left kick will make you do a low kick. Uh, these little low kicks are pretty good. If you can catch an opponent, you can possibly start a juggle combo with those. So keep that in mind, but also keep in mind that good players will possibly be anticipating this low kick get up and parry you, leaving you open to all kinds of horrible air combos that will destroy you. So use that wisely. A right kick will execute a middle kick get up. This is probably your safest option. Tapping both kicks together will perform a spring kick. Very handy if an opponent is running towards you intending on hitting you when you're down. And if you push towards your opponent, you roll towards them. And if you press both punches while doing that, you perform a cross chop like this. Uh, down and right kick while you're lying on the ground with your feet facing your opponent will do a little poke to the knee and roll upwards. The spring up kick, the knee poke and the flying cross jump only work if you are lying on your back, feet facing your opponent. Um, also certain characters might have special moves that get them up off the floor like for example Kuma who has a big sort of sit up and double punch move which is very handy. So. If you are mastering a character, find out what moves they have and get used to using them. Now a lot of the characters will have their own unique evasive manoeuvres. For example, Hihachi here has his little run back to the side which I quite like. Because not only does it move backwards from the opponent, it also moves to the side. A lot of players will have this backflip. Now to perform this backflip is quite tricky, it takes a bit of practice so you know, if your character is one of the characters that performs this, get used to doing it, it's such a handy manoeuvre. What you do, you kind of start a backwards jump but then you interrupt it by pressing backwards. 
So it's sort of up diagonal back to backwards quite quickly. And then they perform this lovely backflip which gets them out of all sorts of trouble. Um, now another pretty sweet move that isn't listed anywhere but has been in the game a while is the wall jump. So if you've got your back against the wall and you've got a little bit of distance between you and your opponent, why not try a wall jump? And here's how we do it. So back against the wall. I mentioned earlier the double taps. You kind of want to double tap backwards, but instead of your second tap being backwards, you kind of want to do up and back. So a very quick back and then back up diagonal. All characters have these wall jumps. Uh, they're usually different. Find out what wall jump your character does and be ready to use it in a tight situation. Also, some characters might have more offensive movements, like uh, let's say Kazuya, a single tap forward and he does a little duck in forwards to the side which leads him to doing certain powerful moves so find out if the character you are trying to master has one of those maneuvers i'm sure you will find out as you learn right so that concludes this beginner's tutorial on movement i hope this has helped you out i want to thank you for watching and uh, if you want to watch my live stream on twitch do come on over, I'll leave a link in the description. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, hit that thumbs up button, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video.